Trico Electric was formed in the mid 40s from ranchers that were interested in getting power out to their farms and ranches. We serve approximately 3,000 square miles of territory around the Tucson area. We have a mountain at 9,000 feet elevation that we serve. We also serve power all the way down south across the border into Mexico. So we have a very diverse area, very rural, and we have approximately 43,000 members in the cooperative. In the summertime, it can be quite hot here. It can be as high as 115 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. Conversely, in the wintertime, up on the mountain, we experience snow fall up there, sometimes six to eight feet deep. And so communication to our Mount Lemmon generator in those situations when we have an outage occur up there is very important to us. I've been working with Trico for five years now. Before that, we had some long-standing issues with some substations for the last 15 years. They've been trying to get SCADA from the substations back to Trico headquarters. The biggest part of what I do is to provide system reliability and that's getting reliable communications where we can. Everything is communication driven now. The Schweitzer relays and Schweitzer radio equipment that we use bring back events. So if we have a fault on our system and we have communication linked to that recloser, we can bring that fault data back into the headquarters. We really respect SEL as a company. They've always given us great customer support and it just seemed like a great idea to use their radios. For this one, we needed a mirror bit circuit, so we went with the 3031 radio. We have a mirror bit circuit that is connected a mile away where the other SEL 3031 radio is. That connects to an SEL meter. If that meter detects any kind of pushback, it uses that mirrored bit circuit as a trip scheme to protect our transformer. So there's no pushback to the substation. So this is our SEL 3031 radio. This is the other end from the recloser. These are the two RS-232 circuits we have. That's our SCADA, and you can see the polling, the transmit, receive. And you can see how that pulls every once in a while. If you look, RS-232-3, that's our mirror bits connection, and it's just a constant connection. No other radio is going to do mirror bits, and that's what's good about the 3031 radio. With this configuration, it's just for recloser and event reporting uh, maintenance. So we went with the SEL 3060 900 megahertz radio, and it's been a solid link for us. Not only do I have a connection back to the substation for SCADA, I will also be able to log into the radio from my desk back at the shop. So if I have any kind of issues, I can remote in to these radios. It's a great setup. Eventually, we'll have some more reclosures out on the field. I'll have them point back this way to the re as a repeater, and then this will be the connection back to New Tucson. I just logged into the radio. This is the 3060 radio. The interface here is really user-friendly. We program the radio. We put the access point radio in. We get that communication established from the RTU here at the substation to the recloser. And then once we have that, we coordinate with the EMS to see what points they want. And then you map them here to send them to dispatch. We plan on continuing to expand our SCADA out into the field devices and we're excited for what we're going to do and, and the accomplishments that we expect to make. It's just going to help troubleshooting, it's going to help safety-wise with our alignments, just getting reliable communications where we can. And we're able to do that using the 3060 radios and the 3031s, bringing it back here to dispatch.